What's up, hobby friends and fam? JB, Sport Fanatic 813. Happy Q, the Woo Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week so far. I've been sitting on these two packages for about a week, maybe a little over a week for one of them. They're the two largest, largest packages I've ever been sent. Obviously happen to be sent by the BCB boys. Both of them will contain MEM. Both of them would not fit on the table. Uh, that's the reason it looks a little funny right now. I just put the sticker up there uh, for the time being. I'm going to try my best to figure out what I can do to open these. I may have to move it off camera, open it to move uh, to present some of the things on camera. Uh, but I am super excited, uh, especially about one of these packages. Um, I'm sure, not sure what I'm going to do with either one of them uh, as far as uh, the concept inside my office. As soon as I figure something out, though, I will be sure to share it with everyone. Uh, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, man, I cannot wait. I can't wait for another night of uh, breaks. If you're not already doing so, jump on buckcitybreaks.com or just follow them on Instagram or Twitter at buckcitybreaks. Uh, later on after this video is complete, that's where I'll be later this evening uh, watching some fire being pulled, not only from Mem, uh, but some cards as well. Looking forward to some of the releases. Uh, I know that the 2019 products have started coming out. Uh, BCB guys are loving it with all the Ohio State hits that are inside. Uh, looking forward to seeing what new products come out uh, at the same time. All right, I'm going to try to pull everything out first and then just move this box off the table. So this box was part of a trifecta break. Uh, trifecta breaks hold three pieces of NIM inside of them. Uh, usually there is a helmet, a mini helmet, maybe a football. Uh, we've even seen a, pi a python, a pylon uh, inside of it. Seen some footballs, like I said, cleats I think are in there, along with some really cool uh, posters also. Um, before we get into the MIM, let's see, I got some cards, two pieces of MIM and some cards in this first package. First up, Devin Funches, formerly of the Carolina Panthers, now of the Indianapolis Colts, super short print, one out of 25 on card auto. Random act of kindness I got last week. I received my first Funches auto, and that's something I think. Let's start PCing a little heavier. Next up, out of National Treasures, Ian Thomas, 23 out of 49. Ten out of 25 base National Treasures, Andrew Luck. Picked up another one of those base Andrew Lux, uh, really short print. I think it's out of five uh, on eBay the other day. It should be coming in soon. Might be a rainbow I look to try to piece together from a base perspective. Another one from National Treasures. Dries Fountain, two color patch, 21 out of 25. National Treasures has been a lot of fun to watch so far. Next up. Darius Slay, one color patch from a Pro Bowl, colossal print, 55 out of 99, colossal um, patch, I mean, not print. Next up, probably my greatest hit at a National Treasure so far, super short print, my first Matt Stafford auto as well, 10 out of 10 here, last off the line, sticker auto, sick auto though, cool card, nice. And then the last from the Lions break here. I think it was a random team break. Darius Slay, sticker auto, National Treasure Signatures. Don't see a number. There it is. Super short print, 4 out of 10. Another sick card. All right. And then I believe I also have the Colts and the Panthers and another National Treasure break with the BCB guys. First up, rookie card, 25 out of 75. Jordan Wilkins, sticker auto. National Treasures. 
DJ Chark on top, DJ Moore on bottom, 45 out of 99. Got a 101. Dante Jackson out of National Treasures, printing plate, sticker auto. Sick. And then last but not least, 28 out of 49, one color jumbo patch there. Tremendous treasures of CMAC Run CMC. All right. As you can see, some fire from the card perspective, and then from the mem perspective, they have been on a roll. I think they're always on a roll, but even late, more as of late, they've been on an even incredible roll. What a sick PC hit that I was not expecting. Didn't even know that he was in the trifecta product. Got the JSA cert up there. If you had to guess, it's probably one of two players. Didn't know where it went for a second, but right there it is. DJ Moore 12. <sighs> Incredible. I was completely blown away. I saw the Panther when um, when they opened up the box, and then I slightly saw the DJ Moore. Uh, I know that BCB Chris was pretty happy for me as he saw the DJ Moore uh, auto off the bat also. Can't wait to add that to the DJ Moore and run CMC. PC I got going. All right. So the last piece of last trifecta break, again, I got two out of the three uh, mem pieces. I had the NFC South. They do division breaks. Uh, was for the uh, New Orleans Saints. Uh, he is a he has been more of a PC for me as of late. Uh, his cards, obviously, great player. Tend to be a little bit more expensive, even from the, uh, from the rookie perspective. But what a sick hit. An Alvin Kamara poster. So again, from one break, I literally got a DJ Moore football and an Alvin Kamara insane poster. JSA cert on the bottom. I say it all the time. But I'm not sure why you aren't breaking with Buck City breaks. This is cool. I don't think there's any more trifecta breaks happening. I think that uh, their distributors sold out for right now. But I know that there'll be more mem breaks coming soon. I know that they always have jerseys on there, uh, football jerseys specifically. Um, and they're also doing full size helmets, which leads me into my last BCB mail day piece of the day. And that would be my first and only full-size helmet that I hit. Again, with the NFC South, wasn't sure what I was going to get. Um, being very honest, when I was picking the NFC South, I was hoping to get um, a Drew Brees helmet or, of some sort, a Drew Brees auto. Uh, I don't own anything of uh, Drew Brees, and uh, that'd be something from a Mount Rushmore perspective that I would add to. I would love to add to my. Um, my collection. All right. Not sure, like I said before, what exactly I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, just super stoked to have this. Didn't realize I'd actually won a mini helmet also. So first up, mini helmet, Minnesota, Minnesota, ah, Minnesota Vikings. Chris Dolman, Hall of Fame 2012. Get that JSA cert out of the way there. So there was the first piece, and then the second piece is this full-size Carolina Panthers helmet. Never owned a full-size helmet before, let alone an autographed JSA cert of Christian 
McCaffrey. Sick. Insane. Still coming up with a few different places I want to put this thing, but never in my wildest imaginations did I think that I would hit this mini or this full size helmet in my first attempt at full size helmet. So huge shout out again to the guys over at Buck City Breaks. None of this would be possible without them. My first Minnesota Vikings mini helmet can put that on, uh, towards the checklist. A host of great cards, an incredible PC edition of, again, not only the CMC helmet, the DJ Moore uh, football, and then what an incredible, amazing Alvin Kamara poster um, that came from the trifecta break as well. So let me know what your guys' feedback is below. Let me know what you think about the mem insane and it's even it's only even gotten hotter as over the last two weeks from the guys over at buck city breaks uh unbelievable stuff if you haven't done so flip over to youtube around 7 30 this evening uh they'll be starting tonight they'll be breaking thursday night generally speaking they break friday night as well fridays again are usually their long nights 12 1 sometimes 2 or 3 in the morning they don't stop because the fire doesn't stop coming so if i don't talk to y'all before uh, this this weekend, hopefully I'll see you in the, their chat later this week. I'll have another um, mail day and playbook break coming up on Saturday. Can't can't wait to talk to y'all soon. Hope y'all have a great rest of your week. Thank you for everything. See you later.